This is KGW News at Sunrise. Well, good morning. Thanks for getting up with us on this Sunday morning, Mother's Day as well. I'm Tim Gordon. This morning on Sunrise, a hiker and his dog need rescuing after falling down a trail at Ecola State Park. Video from the rescue crews along with a warning for hikers. Plus, Election Day is almost here in Oregon. What crews in Multnomah County are doing to help everyone get their ballots in. But before we get to all that, let's check in with Mr. Chris McGinnis for a quick look at the forecast. Chris. Tim, that was a spectacular shot of Mount Hood behind you a minute ago from the Dalles. I present to you another spectacular shot of Mount Hood. This from Dayton, Oregon, from the Stoller uh, Reserve Vineyard. Uh, I should say the Stoller Family Estate in, in Dayton. And one thing you notice, aside from the sunrise, is that the camera's starting to bop around the breeze a little bit. So that gusty east wind is with us again this morning. You see that up at Timberline with the fir trees rocking in the breeze. And the sun is up. And there is not a cloud in the sky this morning. So we are off and uh, running here. 63 at PDX at 67 in Hillsboro, pushing 70 in King City already. Check this out. Tillamook is at 61 degrees. Our modeling actually has Tillamook getting into the mid-90s this afternoon with the offshore breeze. That is just unbelievable. And of course, with the heat in the forecast again today, the heat advisory remains in effect through the day today for Western Washington and Oregon. And here's a look at the plan for today. We're clear at uh, PDX. We'll be in the mid 80s, I think, by lunchtime and back into the low to mid 90s this afternoon. That will be yet another record high. Tim. All right. Thanks a lot, Chris. Well, we have new details on a water rescue along the coast. The victims were all students from the Beaverton School District. On Friday, authorities say four people ran into trouble swimming near Tolavana Beach. Two were able to get out on their own. Firefighters rescued a third. The fourth person, they say, has not been found. Well, a man and his dog are now safe after falling down a trail in E. Cola State Park. Video from the nearby coast shows rescue crews from the air. Saturday at around noon, Cannon Beach fire crews say a man and dog fell 75 feet down an embankment on the Indian Beach Trail. Crews rescued the pair and say they were not hurt, but warn hikers to stay on the trails, keep animals on leashes, and be careful when on steep terrain. Well, the high temps through the weekend and into Monday mean many people are out and about at parks and events or on the water. All this comes with a bit of a warning from officials to make sure that your fun is not cut short. Here's Alma McCarty with the details. I mean, it's going to be a great weekend. I'm, I'm excited to see people out and about. Sun in the sky, boats on the water. A lot of uh, families out here and a lot of fishermen. And with them, the Coast Guard prepped to handle all kinds of water emergencies. It picks up in the summer uh, as more activity come out and as hotter it gets and there's more people. So on a weekend like this, we'll probably respond to probably about 10 cases. And we have other uh, agencies that help us. When they're not out on calls, Petty Officer Asher Ray Palomares explains they're checking to make sure everyone's staying safe. On the Willamette and the Columbia. Make sure you have your required safety equipment, which includes life jackets, fire extinguishers, and like uh, life rings and throwable stuff like that. Staying cool in the record high heat didn't require a boat or a beach. Over in Vancouver, the city opened up the splash pads this week. One in Esther Short Park and one here on the waterfront, just in time for families to pack the parks Saturday. The free water feature open to the public from dawn to dusk through the end of the summer season. Back in Portland, pet parents got out earlier for the doggy dash supporting the Oregon Humane Society. The weather could not be better. It's still pretty cool. We've got a lot of extra precautions uh, for the heat because we want people, most importantly, to be safe when they're here. Laura Klink with the Humane Society walked us through how to keep dogs and cats safe this summer. It's important to know the limitations of your pet. You know, being, being in a cool place, either in the shade or inside, is always going to be the safest bet. Um, if you see your pet having signs of heat distress, which include vomiting, lethargy, excessive panting, dry nose, then that's the type time to seek veterinary care. Taking in this advice and staying safe and cool, here's to enjoying the first hot weather weekend of 2023. Alma McCarty, KGW News.
Multnomah County elections workers hope the hot weather doesn't distract you from getting your ballots in. And they're working extended hours just to help you out. So thank you for that. Both the main elections office on Southeast Morrison and the Voting Center Express in Gresham were open on Saturday. They'll be open again on Monday from 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. And on Tuesday, that's Election Day, from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. And that's the election deadline, of course. Well, the office hours are for anyone who has a problem from a lost ballot to a changed address. And to save time, you can get things started before going into the office in person. They can start the process on their own with uh, the order ahead replacement ballot online. If none of their information has changed, um, they can also call the office and we can help start the process for them. So to go online, visit multnomahvotes.gov or call 503-988-VOTE. That's 988-VOTE. Again, the deadline is this Tuesday, May 16th. Well, the city of Vancouver is now considering spending $12 million on a prime piece of downtown real estate. The open lot could become the light rail transit center if the interstate bridge project goes through. Of course, the project is not a done deal yet as Oregon lawmakers continue to debate putting up their share, a billion dollars for the bridge. But Vancouver's mayor figures the price is right for this property, even if a new bridge plan falls apart. It's an open lot with a lot of upside for the future of transportation in Vancouver, and the mayor likes the price. The developer gave us quite a donation, so it'll be a $12 million investment. $12 million for 3.18 acres, land that appraisers say is worth 18 to 20 million. At Evergreen and C Streets, it's on the east side of downtown, next to the Vancouver Community Library and some historic parts of the city. But it is also adjacent to I-5 and the planned max light rail route along the interstate. You can see the route in yellow on this planned drawing for the interstate bridge replacement. This will be the new transit mall where light rail stops, where all of our bus rapid transits come together, where our local uh, buses come together. Mayor Ann McInerney Ogle says the city has been eyeing this property since 2007. It's been considered a good spot for a transit hub before with the failed Columbia River Crossing project. We talked to a few people visiting the library who liked the idea of it this time around. This is so central to the city core. It seems like a good way to put together all the cool things that are in the area and really give people access to it. As long as it's done safe and it's you know, secure and there's security of some sort, that's thought about at least um, being so close to where I bring my kiddos a lot. I think that's, you know, I'm okay with it. And for the, the price in this area, if we can get to go across the bridge or go north or south, I'm happy with that. City Council will consider the deal at a council meeting on Monday, but they've already been working on it. And the mayor believes it will be approved with the purchase of this land in June with $12 million in city funds in place. And we'll be able to recoup that, but this is an opportunity for us to get things together, control the development of this particular site, a little over three acres, and then we'll work with IBR in the future. But that's our big concern right now. We need to make sure that Oregon understands this is a project that we desperately need. Yeah, the mayor is a big proponent of an I-5 bridge replacement. In fact, she was down in Salem this past week lobbying Oregon lawmakers to do their part to make it happen. A city council meets tomorrow night and the property is on the agenda. Well, researchers at the University of Oregon recently studied more than 22,000 messages between teenage girls. What they found may surprise you. Coming up, how certain pronouns and other word choices can give you a glimpse into someone's mental health. And did you know you can watch Sunrise anytime that you want on KGW Plus? All of our news, in fact, is on Roku and Amazon Fire TV. Just look for KGW Plus and add us to your home screen and stream Sunrise on your schedule. We'll be right back.